So in a previous video, we talked about the Rear Light Bar company that sells light bars, kind of like a Chase light bar. We uh, contacted Dave at Rear Light Bar to order another light bar and he informed us that he'd improved upon his old light bar. We had great success with the old light bar. All of these light bars, when you attach them to a Polaris, use a relay. Dave has eliminated the relay. No more relay. He's gone to a total plug and play system. It's clean, it's simple, there's virtually no wiring, no cutting into your factory wire loom. What we're going to do from this point on is have Bruce walk you through how easy, how simple the install of a rear light bar is on a 2019 Polaris. Okay, so what we've done is on this install of this uh, chase light on the rear light bar, uh, we strung it out to show you how easy this is because it's a plug and play. This is a uh, the little adapter uh, wire loom that you purchase separately and it goes into place so you plug on the back of the razor or can am whatever you're working on and uh, light bar plug goes into here after you uh, unplug and plug these in has two extra wires for turn indicators if you like that kind of thing you know so anyhow this is a it is actually plug and play Okay, so this is the pigtail that we were talking about a little earlier that you need to purchase. This thing right here, all we have to do is find out where the tail light plug is on this 2019 razor, and that's what this is set up for. So we're going to pull this apart, and we're going to plug this right into the spot that we unplugged, and that's it. Okay, so the next process is to uh, install this wire loom, how we run it through the car. Everybody's going to be a little bit different, but what we do is we're going to remove the rear seat. And then uh, there's going to be a few body bolts and plugs you're going to pull out to run. This is very simple. And you're just going to, we, what we do, we found, we run it inside here, all the way up to the front, up underneath to the hood, to our, uh, where we can wire in our ground and our positive for this, because that's all it is, it's two wires. I'm telling you, it's easy. Okay, so we purchased these brackets through Rear uh, Light Bar. We wanted to show you that these just bolt to the, to the frame here. To the cage and in this light actually comes already with bolts for uh, we can just bolt it right to this bracket right to the cage where we want to install it exactly is uh, pretty nice because you can adjust it however you want it with this bracket now with that being said our portion of the loom wire loom is going to plug right into the rear light bar as soon as we get it installed right there and that portion is done all we have to do is however you want to do it run it on the cage and you can uh, use zip ties or you can use a wire loom however you want to do it everybody's different but this is how it's done Okay, so what we're doing is we're pulling out these plastic uh, rivets and we'll take out these body bolts, which is very all the way up to the front. Really simple stuff. Okay, so now we're carrying the, this wire loom up to the front, a few more plastic rivets, another body bolt, body bolt here. We're gonna keep it inside this channel. We're gonna run it all the way through here all the way up to the front we're going to go underneath the dash out to the front under the dash to do our wiring connect okay so we continue the wire loom all the way up the front through this channel after we remove all the bolts and the, the plastic rivets we go up through here and basically what there's enough room we can get underneath the hood and right up to the Polaris installed 
uh, wire terminals here to install our negative and our hot to the light bar. Good. Okay, so as we discussed, this is the what we just ran under the body panels all the way up to the hood. This is our plug that's going to plug into our loom that's going to hook to the that's hooked to the switch that's provided that goes to our battery and our uh, ground connection there. Um, once again, very simple. You just plug it in, and then we're going to talk about the switch. Now, the, this switch is uh, supplied along with the rear light bar from rear light bar, and it's uh, pre-wired. You don't have to do any wiring. You just select a spot on your dash to install the switch where you want it at, and uh, I'm going to talk about the switch a little bit. This is off simple so three uh, settings on this that is on you uh, once you put it on right there you can select the patterns that you want for your uh, strobes or you know however you want to do it now if you hold this down there's also a clear one in the middle of the light bar a clear light and if you hold that down two seconds that light is on you can use it for uh, anything you want to do in the back of the car if you're working on something or whatever to shut it off you hold it for two more seconds and it shuts off there you go the wires are ran all we have to do now is install our two wires we have our hot and we have our ground it comes with a fuse link so we're good to go all we do is hook that up and we're done Okay, so now that we have the rear light bar installed, we're going to demonstrate how the light bar works. We got Tyler in the car. He's going to turn the key on. And the first thing you're going to see is two tail lights, which are outside, two flashing ambers that are in the neck the pods directly next to the tail light. When Tyler depresses the brake pedal, you'll see that brake lights come on. Now Tyler is going to hold up on the top of the switch for three seconds. And that will change the pattern. And holding it by three seconds will give you a rear work light or a reverse light. By pressing and holding the top of the switch another three seconds, the light goes out. By touching the switch, which is spring-loaded at the top, one time, you change the pattern of the caution portion of the light bar. This is a great switch and a great product.